Hi guys and welcome to a very special XG Upload Studio episode. Uh, today I'm joined by a very special guest, it's Little Juice Box, aka Jen Taylor. Say hello Jen. Hello. Um, so what we're going to do today is, it's quite impromptu and I've kind of forced you into bit. this. Just, well, um, a wee bit, yeah. So I'm going to ask you about things that have happened in the gaming world and what's up and coming. And I'll really? get your views. Yeah, yeah, why not? I'm so far out of the loop now. You're I a teacher have no now, idea. right? You yeah. teach children. Okay, so and cool. They know nothing about video games, so how am I going to know? Don't anything? lie. They, they always talk about Minecraft. Yeah, I guess. Okay, right. So, so what are you playing at the moment, Jen? Um, I started Mad Max, and I played the first few areas, but I haven't really finished it. Although so, I think... when you say you started Mad Max, how long yeah. have you played for? Um, uh, maybe four or five hours. So that's, that's that's not like you just started. That's, that's, that's an yeah, investment. Yeah, I was, I was clearing areas and things like that rather than going through the story. It was alright. It was a bit samey though. I thought that. Um, well, no, it's, it's <laughs> no, it's not. It's not wrong answer. If you think it's shit, say it's shit. No, I love Mad Max. It's I'm, not shit. I it's think not shit. no, it's really beautiful. Mad um, Max is not shit. No, go, I love how hardcore the, the fighting is as well. Yeah, it's like Batman, but yeah. it's not PG Batman. Yeah, it's so like Batman won't definitely kill someone. Yeah, Batman right? won't kill someone, but Mad Max will definitely stab Although, someone in the face with Batman a knife. fighting in the games does basically look like he's crippled them to the point where they probably won't survive even though they're going hospital. Yeah, so, okay, so so uh, to explain, if you don't really know, um, Mad Max and Batman are done by Warner Brothers. Yeah. Um, Batman as a superhero, is he a superhero? Is he a vigilante? He's a vigilante. Or, he's, yeah, he's so a he's not a hero. He's so like so Batman as a vigilante doesn't kill anyone. However, if you play Batman Arkham Knight, he definitely runs people over in a Batmobile. He does. Which weighs about 15 tons at least. Yeah. They're dead, right? They're like exactly. absolutely dead. Yeah, his fighting style is definitely one where they get... They get dead. Yeah, they, they get dead. Yeah, yeah, they don't get up again. It's not like they're laying on top of it. Ah, oh, my face. It's like they are. They're done. Yeah, no, they are. They are dead. Yeah. So Batman isn't quite the guy we thought he was. But then saying that they're criminals, so let them die, right? That's the that's the way forward. I guess, but they got families at home. And stuff, well, right? some of them say like, oh, I've got my children at home. And, oh. I'm sure their families don't care. Right, so you've been playing a bit of Mad Max, yeah. um, and so obviously you've been out, you, you're doing teaching now, so yeah. obviously you edit the game jar and you, you've sort of moved on from that. Um, does it feel strange not gaming as much, or do you have more time now, when you, when you game, is it more specific, or do you, do you like... Yeah, something really has to like grab me, yeah, me to actually point, yeah. spend my spare time playing it, because I don't have much spare time now. Mm-hmm. So anything that I would want to play really has to draw me in. So Matt, well, I watched you play some Mad Max. And Mad Max. So, well, all of Mad Max. I played two um, and a half days. No, I only yeah. three days with a Mad I'm Max. I'm pretty sure I saw like, at least three quarters of that. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, I still wanted to play it, even though I'd seen you play it. Um, but I haven't finished it at all. I haven't even got started really. I I went around and do, I do you know what? I, I really there. really enjoyed Mad Max for for what it was. It was a it's a it's a real um if you if you like got OCD, it's fun. You you can clear all the zones and all that sort of stuff, and there's the convoy attacks are brilliant, like uh, taking on a convoy are really, really fun. Um, if you take it as just a game and you do the story, the story is really short. It's like yeah. seven or eight missions. And although you've got to do side missions to get your car to a certain spec, um, I don't know. It, the payoff wasn't there for me. So like, um, there's, a, there's a thing that happens right at the end and something happens with a character who you've no. invested a lot of time in. Yeah, spoilers, oh. right? Um, but... Um, it just felt really cheap, and like when you made a decision, the, the decision you made was kind of pointless because you do a thing with him or them or her. This is so vague. What are you doing? I'm trying really hard not to spoil shit. Um, <laughs> um, right. But yeah, it makes no difference because the ending's still the same. So yeah. it's a bit of a disappointment. But I've been playing Halo Five. Oh um, yes. Yes, I played Halo Five. Yes. Um, I played through Solo Legendary. How I've... disappointed am I about the co-op? No, it doesn't have split screen. No split screen. They said like uh, Halo Six maybe split screen. Like, well, what's the point? All the others have had split screen. I know, right? Why ruin it? Well, it's not... Yeah, you're right. But it does mean that I didn't have to carry you split screen for... Oh, you are pretty bad at Halo. Well, I don't mean to be. You just kind of run in and, and kill everything and I just run in going, yay! That's what I do. That's what I do in our six powers. Um, so, there, there's that. Um, what's coming up? Fallout 4? Sorry? Yes. Yeah. I think so. I, I, think I, I am. Good. I am really excited yeah, about Fallout 4. Yeah, I'm going to lose you to that, aren't I? Well, not me. I, I, Fallout 4 is kind of go. I, I'll probably play it and I enjoy it, but I probably won't spend my whole life playing it. And I think you might play a lot of Fallout 4. I might do. I always tried to get into the Fallout games, and because it's so open world, it's really daunting for me. Mm-hmm. I always get that with open world games like Skyrim as well. It's just anything like that, I just feel like because you're so in control of your own destiny with that game, you can 
go anywhere and you can open played, any door. It's it's kind of freaky for me. Yeah, see, I feel I, like I, I'm going to miss something. See, I, yeah, that's the point. I, I yeah. played like, I think like 60 hours of Skyrim. And I think I, I cooked it. And the, the story mode, I think I finished like 5% of the story in 60 hours because I just kept just wandering finding around. caves. Which is not a bad thing. No. But like, I don't have that much time to invest in a game. This is Mass Effect. Unless it's Mass Effect, then I, I put all the hours of my life into that yeah. game. And on that note, they Mass Effect tweeted today uh, a little teaser saying coming soon, and it was a Mass Effect thing. And I'm like, is it the um, MMO? Day. Uh, oh, what's it called? Is it Mass Effect and Jomina or something like that? Or, uh, they're and, always teasing that MMO though, weren't they? It's not, I don't think it's MMO. 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 MMO is not a thing. MMO. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that thing. But I want more Mass Effect in my life. That's what I want. Um, but before all that is Star Wars Battlefront, so everything else can go suck my dick because basically that's the game I'm going to play for the rest of my life. It's incredible. I played the beta. Is it really that good? Oh yeah. I know that it's all Star Wars themed, but don't you think it's just a bit like? I will burn you alive. I will burn you it's alive. It's just Battlefield, but Star Wars. It's not Battlefield. It's, it's not. Battlefield. Kind of is. It's I mean, it's advanced Battlefield with Star Wars. It's like. It is. I don't think we can be friends anymore. Oh. Basically, Jen <laughs> has no idea about computer games. We've established that she's been out of computer game game. Computer game games? The computer game game. Yeah, she's not a gamer. She's a dick. Um, so she doesn't know about computer games. And Battlefront is going to be incredible. Um, I played a lot of hours of Battlefront. Mm. And it is similar to Battlefield. You're right, it is. Yeah. Um, but it's not Battlefield. It doesn't It doesn't. Isn't play the same way. It's when you die... You're back in action really quick because Battlefield's a slight delay and stuff. It's, it's really hard to put a finger on it, but it is. I think maybe because so because there isn't a delay in your spawning. It's no, like it's it's more than that. It's it's it, it. It sounds really cliche and really dumb, but because it's Star Wars, you don't care. You die and like you, you're happy. You're like this is cool. I was part of a big battle in Star Wars, and I'm back in playing. It's a really really. I'm not debating that it's not a good game. Cool I'm use just... of an IP. No, it's, it's not. It's not even a good game. It's okay. a great game. They've they've understood the IP. There are games that are based in the Star Wars universe, and then there are Star Wars games. And this is a Star Wars game, and they are few and far between. Like X-wing, Tie Fighter, uh, Knights of the Republic, and then this. They are Star Wars games, and then you've got stuff like um, the the uh, the Force Unleashed, and stuff, which are games based yeah. in the Star Wars universe. This captures what it's like to be in Star Wars universe, and it's fantastic. And then, I don't necessarily think you have to be a Star Wars fan to, to know it, but it helps. But it's, it's it's amazing. So Star Wars is coming out. Hang on. If we're on Star Wars, we've been playing Infinity. A oh. little bit of the Star Wars Infinity. Yeah, right. Okay. Listen, if you're a Star Wars <laughs> fan, do not buy Infinity, oh. right? No, because it will cost you like, your mortgage. Because yeah. all I want to do now is buy the figures. The game is great. It's really good fun. The figures, they're so cool. Um... And the, the, the levels you play in are so in-depth, right? They're like, it's not even just like a cheap, oh, we've got to put a level in because you bought a character. These levels are massive. It's like Lego game, but... but times yeah. three or five or whatever. Yeah. It's really cool. So Star Wars Infinity, I'd recommend to adults and kids alike. Um, I've got the box set. Um, and it's, it's bear in mind, right, I don't like prequel stuff. You know that, right? I don't like prequel stuff. And the, no. the, and the box set, yeah. no. don't like stuff. It's being tame. I hate the, the prequel <laughs> stuff. But the, the box that I've got is Anakin Skywalker and... Um, the one with the, the hair things. What's the, what's the, the hair the, things? The, the, yeah, they look like ear but hair. Ahsoka? She's, she's... They're not hair. It's not hair. So no, but it could be hair. It's not, this is why I can't talk to you anymore. Um, anyways, um, it's these guys from the prequels and a Clone Wars cartoon. But I still enjoyed it, like, a lot. It's a load of stuff to do. It's collectibles. There's many games. There's... Loads of stuff going on, and now they've released like Han Solo, Princess Leia, um, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Chewbacca, and all those. They have different levels. Yeah. Oh, okay. So those, yeah. those levels like, are like akin to the. the although each figure is fifteen pounds, I would happily pay fifteen pounds for it just for the figure because the figures are so well done, like anime style Han or anime style Leia, Luke, Chewbacca, Darth. That's so cool. Um. So yeah, Disney Infinity. Well worth a look. Well worth a look. Um, yeah. One more game to talk about before we go. Okay. Uh, Black Ops. You weren't in today, but no. I, I don't know if I can post this or not. It depends on this video uploads. I don't know tonight, but screw him, man. I, I, I watched no, someone play. I don't say who. Oh, 
Shh, it's okay. I watched somebody playing Black Ops 3 uh, today. Um, oh, so it comes out on Thursday this week, or Friday this week, sorry. Um, I'm going to say it now, right? Call of Duty is Call of Duty. But Treyarch do a particular brand of Call of Duty, and it is, you didn't see it, so I, I'm, I'm just speaking what I saw. This Black Ops 3 is slick as hell. Like, the campaign is really clever. It's co op, and there's a co op hub, and it's. See, I hadn't seen much hype about it. No, but. The but thing, right? Think, like everyone's like, oh, I think I'm all like. Cold, you have to see it. Like, it out. They have, thing. yeah, maybe it's a thing. Um, but they haven't. Um, they really haven't sc scrimped on any area. Like, the campaign, the hub is so slick, and there's so much stuff in the hub you can do. There's collectibles you have, your own little locker room and stuff like that. You can lay them out how you want, and it really does make like uh, a unique hub experience with you and your friends playing the story mode. Then there's zombies, which is oh, wow! I don't know how to say it. Like zombies, it's like it's better than normal zombies. It better. It's an entire different game. It's like here's Call of Duty Zombies, but it's a whole new game. So you've got zombies, and then you've got Black Ops Three Zombies, and Black Ops Three Zombies is this progression. There's a story arc. There's hidden stuff. There's all this stuff going on, and then you've got the multiplayer. And the multiplayer is slick, right? Treyarch do multiplayer really, really well. And haven't played the beta and they haven't played this version. Um, Black Ops 3 is really good. It's not COD by the numbers. I'll be honest with you and say, like, I didn't like Call of Duty Ghost. I thought Call of Duty Ghost was, a, was horrible. And I thought it was a really cheap cash in. I really, really didn't like Call of Duty Ghost. In my opinion, humble opinion, it's the worst Call of Duty in the entire franchise. Ghost is awful. That's a um, oh, it's, oh, no, it's I mean, my I opinion. I'm not, yeah. I'm not by any means a, a COD pro. Um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was fun. Had a lot of stuff in it, and it was very good at what it did, but it, Advanced Warfare was kind of cod by the numbers, which is cool, right? Because don't get me wrong, right? The thing I think people fall into with Call of Duty is they go, oh, it's just cod. But cod is a very well-oiled machine, right? It's, it does what it does in the box. And I think sometimes it gets vilified for being Call of Duty, but Call of Duty is really good. Like, it's... It's, it's like saying, oh, it's a Ferrari. Oh, it's just a Ferrari. Like a, a decent game, and then just keep it, Yeah, repeating. it's just like a like, really good shooter. Yeah. And the people go, oh, yeah, it's just called, it's like saying, well, it's just a Ferrari. It's not just a Ferrari. It's a well old machine that does what it does really, really well. But Advanced Warfare for me was enjoyable. I played it. I finished the campaign because I had Kevin Spacey in it. Um, and I was interested. But Call of Duty Black Ops 3, I played it for like, I might say, no, so I played for like 15 minutes. So it was not long at all. And I granted, not long at all. Can but I, I can't really because this is going to happen before it comes out. But um, I did watch quite a lot of the finished game. And it's really, really good. Like it is so slick. They haven't, they don't, they haven't, like pushed multiplayer to be the forefront and left everything else. Multiplayer is a massive deal. Zombies a massive deal. Campaigns a massive deal. Not and it's a six hour campaign. No, it's not. It's huge, and there's so much you can do in it. Like you can customize your weapons. You can customize weapons. Zombies. It's progression in zombies. You can customize stuff in the campaign. It's four player co-op. It's just really, really good. So if you if you pre order Black Ops three, well That's done. Don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe oh, it does. I don't know. Uh, I didn't eat I didn't check. We only had one controller because it wasn't the system you're normally playing on. Um so we had one controller so I couldn't test that. But um if it is or it isn't, it's a very, very good product for what it is. And if you have pre ordered Black Ops three, I'm gonna say You've done very, very well because it's going to be very, very good. Um, and I'm kind of glad I didn't pre order the Juggernaut machine. But I think maybe that's part of the Call of Duty franchise hurting itself because I was so bored of Call of Duty. That sounds wrong, but that sounds like the masses. I was bored of it being just Call of Duty. I wasn't expecting it to be so much different. And as much as it's not different, it's just the pinnacle of what it does. Like, this is. The Apex of Call of Duty, the Apex Zombies, the Apex uh, multiplayer, the Apex campaign. Um, so I kind of wish I had put the effort in. So I don't know whether they should take a break and say, you know what, Sledgehammer, you do a good job. What's that, Infinity Ward? Just let's not make them those guys make a game again because Ghost was awful. So that was that. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of, we've, we've covered Halo, yeah. Star Wars, Call of Duty, Infinity, Fallout 4. Infinity a bit. Infinity a little bit. Um, Mad Max a bit. Mad Max a bit. Anything else you want to talk about? Um... What else is coming out? Anything. Jim Raider? Mm. I mean, no. <laughs> listen, no. right, listen, you are a female. Okay, this game oh, is designed for females because 
She is an empowered female, and she is a lead character female. Uh, I, I, totally I like Lost. I yeah. like Lost Tomb Raider. Yeah, um, no, Tomb Raider was good. The last one, yeah, um, whatever it was called. Um, Tomb Raider. Yeah, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider, Genesis. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Genesis. Tomb Raider. Genesis. 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 No, it was just Tomb Raider. Wasn't it was Tomb Raider? It was Tomb Raider. Um, yeah, it was alright. It was, um, no, it wasn't alright. It's was a good game. Yeah, it was. Turn my voice in. Uh, but um, I'm still, you know, it's just two, more Tomb Raider. It's more of Tombs and. Do you know what I like about Tomb Raider? Tombs the original and boobs. one. Tombs and boobs. No, I don't. I don't think that's a fair comment. The new one. She's a she's a part, normal looking human did, being. Well, they did do some boob and butt shots, and yeah, but I reckon did. she's she's grown in the new one. When you say grown. Maybe. Listen, all I'm saying is I really like the last Tomb Raider because it should be boom, boop and butt shots, right? A little bit. But like the first bit where she, where they crash onto the beach and then now. no, and then yeah. she goes, um, she climbs it's down. Bathing suit. Uh, no, she she climbs down the um the cliff face. Yeah. She finds the rucksack with the head, hand. It's a gun. No, it's a walkie talkie. Yes, it's a walkie talkie. Yeah, walkie talkie. And they do an over the shoulder shot of the walkie talkie, but it's just got cleavage. cleavage. Yeah. It's just like, oh, for goodness well, sake, five minutes into the game, guys. Yeah. I don't need a, a pre pubescent I, tit shot. I'll be honest, it's better than what they have done in, in previous Tomb Raiders, right? You have to agree, like, she's not. like If you no, look at some of them, it's literally than, like. A lot better than Cones. <laughs> she was like <laughs> Lady Gaga yeah. crossbred with, like, Madonna. She was ridiculous before. Yeah. And. So it's a it's a more realistic human being. Yeah. Um. What also about Tomb Raider? I really like Tomb Raider, the new one, the reboot. Sorry, I I I think it's just Tomb Raider, isn't it? I'm sure it is. It's, well, the last who cares? Tomb Raider. We know what we're talking about. The next gen, previous gen, redone yeah. for this gen Tomb Raider. But um, I liked it because it was more realistic, and I really enjoyed the story. What I didn't like, or what, what I didn't no, like, what I thought the they, they missed out on it was like there was a lot of stuff made about how. She has to make these decisions, like to kill oh, someone or to, the, or to kill an animal. Rapey bit. Uh, well, I'm glad you said that, but hey, we'll get to that in a second, okay. right? Okay. So there's a bit where she has to kill an animal for food, right? And she ki- she kills <laughs> a deer, she yeah. bone arrows it, she stabs it with a crossbow, uh, with and the arrow like, bolt. Oh, and I'll be honest, I watched it, I remember playing it at EGX, and I was like, wow, this is pretty harrowing. I'm not really okay with killing this animal, because like, I don't like killing animals, because I'm not horrific. I'm not a freak, right? I don't kill animals for, for fun. Um and I, I didn't like it. And I thought, you know what? Well, well done, well done, Square, for making a game that makes me think about this sort of stuff. And then, literally, after you've killed the animal for food, you never have to hunt for food in the rest of the game. However, if you kill every animal in a certain area, you get scrap. So I was like, yeah. you've gone from making this really and emotional scene. No, it's like she's not, like, this... she's not sobbing while she's pulling. Her no, it's like you've back. just gone from this really emotional <laughs> scene of killing a deer. Yeah. And it is emotional. It's done really, really well. And then you go to what? Now kill everything in the area. Kill all the animals and get scrapped. I was like, well, that's pretty shit. And then we get to the... The rapey scene. You say that. It's fine. So there's a scene where a guy... It's not... I don't... Do you know what, right? I saw the the issues on this and like the Guardian and all that sort of crap. And then, oh, it's in... It was bullshit, right? It was stereotypical man being a bit of a lech and horrible. Rape while... I don't know. Was it even implicated? He filled her up like big time against the wall and was like, yeah, I'm going to have my way with you. Field. Field. <laughs> Not field. Field. Is there a difference? <laughs> right, okay. Felt so, her up. So he felt her up against the Yeah, he did. And she was a bit okay. tied up as well. And She wasn't tied up at all. She, she had... No, she wasn't. She wasn't tied up. She, she just kills the guy. She had been tied up. She had been, but she... Anyways, yeah. so... There's a scene that was made like, it's like, oh, it's going to be rape and this and that. And then she kills this guy and it is... It, in fairness, again, well written. Well, that scene... Is particularly well done. Like she kills this guy, the first human being she's ever killed, and whether he's a rapist, a horrible person or not, this person is still a human being, right? And she kills him. Probably and with a family and children. Well, I hope not. No, um, not. But um, it's it's you know it really plays in the fact that no matter he's not just a generic person, he's a he's a human being, and she's killed him. She didn't want to kill anyone, and she's killed this guy, and it's done really well. Followed by, literally followed by, walk up the mountain, mountain top. And Baron Arrow, two guys in the back of the head. Mass murder. Yeah. She just turns <laughs> some massive serial yeah. killer commando. It's like, oh, I killed a deer. Oh, I killed my rapist guy. And then it's like, so it's like kill everyone. They have, a really, they have a really good idea. And they deliver that concept straight away. And then they just kind of let it go. There's They're no kind of like, sort of like progress to her, no, her it's badassery. Just, it's, it's, just, just, it's just gone. I killed one guy. I'm going to kill killer. everyone. Now I'm going to kill yeah, every without mother. Without remorse. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It doesn't matter who they are. But that said... 
I still thought it was a really good game. Oh, I still thought it was a really good game. And I'm excited for the next Tomb Raider. And I know it's Xbox exclusive and blah, blah, yada, yada, whatever. And so there's Tomb Raider coming out, so I'm excited for that. Um, Rainbow Six. I played a lot of Terrace Hunt. Um, I've never really been to Rainbow yeah. Six. Um, I would no, no. I, I really enjoyed it. I like Terrace Hunt. I'm not less. I'm less of the competitive play. I'm more of the co-op stuff. So I really like Terrace Hunt. Um, what else have we got? What else have we missed? Anything? I don't know. Um, I was hoping you would work it out. I've said a lot. I've said a lot. Uh, this is why you don't do games anymore. I got them on my phone. But that's it doesn't matter. Okay, so so that's what we talked about. Um, I don't know what you think of what we said is correct or wrong. Mm-hmm. Do you know what? It's opinions, right? So what I'm, <laughs> not what I'm saying, what Jen's saying, I'm sure neither one of us believe this is the, this is what you must believe. It's just our opinions, right? Yeah. So if you agree or disagree, that's cool. Leave a comment um, um, and we'll try and respond. If you are going to be immature and leave something like, oh, there's a girl there, she's got boobs, Thanks. please do yourself a favour and, and don't go out and speak to friends. Or in fact, close the door, turn off the internet <laughs> and just don't talk to anyone. Read a book. Yeah. Actually get some knowledge in your brain, all right? Because if you can't interact with human beings... Don't leave a comment. If you do want to leave a comment, it's smart, it's funny, it's witty, you will love it. Oh, we'll, yeah. we'll probably respond. Right? If you have a funny comment, that's fine. Like, look at that guy, like his head's upside it. down. That's fine. I'm, I'm, <laughs> do you know what? I'm cool with that, right? That that sort of stuff, I think is funny, right? I've never thought about that before. It is kind of upside down, isn't it? It's like all my hair. I, I claim to not be not bald, just my hair is really heavy and just falls out my face. Um, <laughs> but if you have got something that's, that's uh, informative, witty, or you've got a, a comment, then we're not. Uh, children to say you know i we don't appreciate it but yeah. if you're in the comments just be respectful a of the fact that we're doing this video and b of the people who else are in the comments right? people make comments people are very strange on comments aren't they sometimes? yeah but it's the internet and it's the yeah. advent of anonymity anonymity just like but i can look you up it's fine yeah, exactly we'll find you <laughs> we'll find no we won't yeah, um, we're not, we're not um, but if you are in the comments please be friendly to everybody else in the comments bear in mind it's just opinions, right? It's not fact. I'm not saying what I'm saying is correct and you have to believe me. Or what you're saying is correct and you have to believe None yourself. None of the stuff I've said is correct. No, it's sure. total shit. Yeah. <laughs> but um, just be nice. So if you do like this video, put a like, put a subscribe. We might do more of this. I've kind of hoodwinked hood- hood- you into doing this. Yeah. Off the hoof. I was going to go to bed, but apparently I'm doing this now. You would just spend 20 minutes doing this. Oh. I thought it was a five minute thing, but the Connect thing is still recording. So we can do this for like, at least another five minutes. What do we do for five minutes? Um, we could sing. <laughs> no. No, we want to sing. Okay, so I've been Arthur, aka Starbucks MDR from Extreme Gaming, and this has been Jen, aka Little Juice Box. Hi. Bye. Okay, brilliant. It's not yeah. selling this channel or anything. She doesn't care anymore. She hates gaming. Um, so Why do I if, do anything? Why do I need to plug it? Uh, no, 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 you're totally right. Um, so if you do like what we've done, um, like I said, leave a comment. And if not, we'll see you next video. Okay, bye-bye. bye bye. Bye.